12 good entry level jobs that do not require a college degree. That is the topic of today's video. So we are going to be talking about jobs you can get into without any experience without a college degree, and they have a ton of demand at the entry level. Now the keyword there is at the entry level. So we are only going to be looking at entry level job postings, nothing else, because there's a lot of careers out there where there's a ton of demand, but there's no demand at the entry level. Now there are 12 careers. That's a lot that we're going to go over. I'm going to try to keep this video short. So I'm going to jump right into it. And if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead, let me know by gently tapping that like button. Also comment down below your thoughts, comments, etc. on the video. And the best thing you can possibly do is share this video because that helps quite a bit. I don't have a giant marketing department like all of these universities do. So I rely on word of mouth to get the truth out. And let's jump right into it with the first one on the list. And this might surprise you, but it's one that just about anybody can do. And it's a really good part-time job during college or high school school and that is waiter. Yes, serving people, bringing food to their table, you can make amazing money, especially for a position that does not require a college degree or any experience. And this is especially good if you're somebody who can only work part time because typically the busiest hours are going to be a few hours on certain nights. Now the average waiter makes about $62,000 a year, which is really good. That's about 30,000 base pay and 30,000 in tips. And people are always hiring for the waiter position. Um, usually it doesn't even get to LinkedIn, but just looking at LinkedIn, you see there's 28,000 entry level jobs. So yeah, really solid one, probably not one you want to do for the rest of your life. There's not a lot of horizontal or vertical growth. You're also going to have to deal with a lot of Karens and it's pretty hectic, but really solid one, especially for your first job if you're in high school or college. Next one on the list is going to be tech sales. This is also known as software sales, uh, business development representative, uh, sales development representative, etc. And this is a B to B sales position, you're going to be generating new business, qualifying leads and talking to other companies that you're trying to sell your software or technology to. And sales is an incredibly valuable skill set. And then you combine that with probably the best industry you can possibly work in. It is just a killer combination. And when you look at LinkedIn for the entry level jobs, you see there are 284,000 posted for business development and 103,000 posted for sales development. And that's not all jobs. That is just the entry level ones. So there is a ridiculous amount of demand for people who have this skill set. And this is why I did an interview with Troy from Course Careers, who routinely helps people get sales jobs within one to two months. And a lot of the times these sales jobs are paying $70,000 plus in the very first year, as long as you hit the right numbers. Now, according to Glassdoor, business development representatives make $79,000 a year on average. And there is a ton of room for vertical and horizontal growth. So out of all the different entry level careers that I've seen, this is the one that people are getting the most absolutely ridiculous results from. People are getting jobs within one month and making $70,000, $80,000 in their first year. I mean, that is just completely unheard of for something where they had zero experience, uh, no college degree, etc. And if you're interested in tech sales and you want to check out a free training from Troy from Course Careers, you can check that out down in the description below. I'll also put it in the pinned comment. And if you decide to go with his service because he essentially sets you up with uh, interviews for internships and jobs, you can also use my free $50 code off. That is Shane 50. I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment as well. Next one on the list is going to be a customer service representative. Now, there are other positions that you can move into after doing customer service representative. Uh, some of them are more of like a B2B type customer service representative position. And those are the ones that I tend to recommend. But you can also just start off with customer service and then move into those later on. And that would be more of a customer relationship management type position. Now, one thing that's great about this is it is a remote job. You can do it just about from anywhere you are, which is awesome. You also have a huge advantage here if you're a natural English speaker. So if you're from the United States, Canada, uh, UK, Australia, etc., you're going to have a big advantage here. And if you look up customer service representative, there are 118,000 entry level jobs posted. So lots and lots of demand at the entry level. Now, in terms of how much you can expect to make, it's not amazing, but at the same time, it's still pretty good for something you do not need a college degree for. And that is about about $49,000 a year. And like I said, you can move into those better positions where you're more of a relationship manager rather than a customer service representative. And in those positions, you can make much more than this. Next one on the list, number four is another one of my favorite careers, which is digital marketing. Super, super great skill set to have in general. One of the few skills that you can learn where you can legitimately leverage your skill set to reach millions of people. There's lots of different types of digital marketing. You've got pay-per-click, uh, paid ads, SEO, um, SE 
TM. And when you look at entry level jobs on LinkedIn, there are 92,000 that were posted. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention 92,000 that were posted in the last month. And you can expect to make about $76,000 a year, which is really solid. And you can also specialize further and make it into the six figure bracket as well. So yeah, another really solid option. This is the option where I've seen the most people get really good success from it. The problem with the tech sales thing is it's great. Like you can get into it really easily. People get great results, but tech sales is not for everybody. Whereas digital marketing uh, has a lot more options to it. You know, for creative people or analytical people, you can kind of specialize in different routes. So I think I would say I've seen the most people have success with uh, digital marketing. So yeah, another fantastic option. Uh, definitely look into digital marketing if you haven't already. Next one on the list, number five is going to be cybersecurity. And this is a super, super fast growing industry. It is getting more and more important to make sure that data and information is secure. We've seen tons and tons of leaks of uh, customer information, patient information, and healthcare, et cetera, and it's just totally unacceptable. So you see different terms like cybersecurity, there's about 43,000 entry-level jobs. Uh, computer security, there's about uh, 52,000 entry-level jobs. IT security, there's about 62,000 entry-level jobs. All of these were posted in the last month. And if you work in cybersecurity, you can expect to make about $91,000. Now, out of all the ones that I've talked about so far, this is the hardest one to break into. A lot of the time people will go the IT route first and then they'll transition into cybersecurity, but it is still a very solid option. It's not one where you're gonna get a job within a month though. Next one on the list is going to be web development. And this is essentially one of the kind of simpler versions of software development. It's probably the easiest one to get into with no experience. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You're basically going to be doing the code that goes into websites. So if you look up web developer on LinkedIn, you see there's 15,000 entry-level jobs posted in the last month and if you look up web development on LinkedIn, you'll see 101,000 posted. And web developers make about $98,000 a year. So another super, super solid option. Uh, typically, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer to get into this one than something like tech sales or digital marketing, but it can be a really good option. Another great one that's especially good for people who are artistic is UX UI design, and specifically the UI part of the UX UI. UX stands for user experience, UI stands for user interface. And this is all about making the user experience when someone interacts with the website as good as possible. Now, when you look up UX and UI design in the last month, uh, 13,000 job postings, UI design, 34,000, and UX design, 16,000. And again, all at the entry level. And as a UX UI developer, you can expect to make about $87,000 a year, which is phenomenal for an artistic related career. Now, this one does typically take a little bit longer to get into. A lot of people go to boot camps that last like, you know, six to nine months but it can be a really good option for the right person. Next one on the list is going to be data analyst. Data analyst cleanup, transform, uh, process, and model data. And there is a massive amount of demand for this skill set. Uh, you see at the entry level, there's 187,000 jobs posted in the last month on LinkedIn. And you can expect to make about $77,000 a year. There's also a lot of room for vertical and horizontal growth. Number nine on the list is going to be software developer. And this is basically where you code different software, websites, uh, programs, et cetera. Now, I think everyone's pretty familiar with this one. Uh, lots of different boot camps out there teaching people how to get into software development tons and tons of demand for this skill set. Now, everybody talks about how, oh, software development, software engineering, it's gonna get saturated. No, it's not. Even though all these boot camps popped up, it's still not saturated. All you have to do is look at the amount of entry-level jobs posted on LinkedIn. So you see software development in the United States in the past month, entry-level job for that keyword, 300,000 results. So still tons of demand for software developers out there. Do you have to know your stuff? Of course, of course you have to know your stuff. You have to actually be able to program. But there are many, many different resources out there for you to learn that. There's also many different routes you can go in order to get into it. I would say out of all the options, this is probably one of the harder ones to learn on your own. A lot of people choose to go to college just because there are some companies that prefer a college degree and it is a lot to learn on your own. Many people also choose to go 
go to boot camps, but those tend to be relatively expensive as well, somewhere between five to $20,000 typically. But as a software developer, you can expect to make about $111,000 a year. And if you specialize further, you can make a lot more than that. Next one on the list is one that is relatively closely related, and that is quality assurance tester. And there's several different names for this one. But basically, you are testing out software to make sure that it's good to go so that you can get that software rolled out to the public as fast as possible. And I've heard people say that a bug that isn't caught for a small company that rolls out software on average costs the company $20,000 per day. And the reason for that is because a lot of customers will simply just drop the company rather than emailing them about it. So this is a very valuable position. And Quality Assurance has 108,000 results at the entry level posted in the last month. And as a software quality assurance tester, you can expect to make about $93,000 a year. So really solid. Next one on the list, we already talked about a little bit. That is information technology. I think everybody is familiar with what this is. At the entry level, you see about 134,000 job postings in the last month. And if you work in information technology, you can expect to make about $72,000 a year. But depending on what you specialize, you can make a heck of a lot more than that. So this can be another really good option as well, especially at the entry level. So I tried to keep this video as short as possible. If you made it this far in the video, check out my uh, tech sales interview that I did with Abdul right here. I'll pop that up on the screen. It was a really good interview and uh, basically Abdul uh, made phenomenal money in his first year in a tech sales job. And I basically go over his story in that video. And I will see you next time.